Hello, in this demonstration I am going to show you how to download and install the remote server administration tools so you can manage a 2008 server remotely from your Windows 7 desktop. So we will start by doing a Google search for download Microsoft remote server administration tools for Windows 7 and you'll see the first search result is the download details remote server administration tools for Windows 7 we'll click on that link so you're now able to download the AMD 64 RSAT which is for a 64-bit operating system or you can download the x86 RSAT which would be for a 32-bit Windows 7 operating system so I'm going to install the 64-bit version, so I would click download. However, I've already got those files downloaded and saved on a 2008 server, which I'm going to manage after the installation is complete. So I've got a Windows 7 operating system running in VMware Player Virtual Machine that's on the same network as my 2008 server. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do a network installation. So I'll click on Start, and I need to use the UNC path the Universal Naming Convention to the 2008 server. So that's backslash backslash RWDC01. RWDC01 is the name of my server. If you were doing a network install, you would need to know the name of your server. And I'll hit the enter key on my keyboard and I'm going to go ahead and double click on downloads. And there it is, the AMD64 RSAT. So I'll go ahead and double click on that file and I am now going to install the 2008 server remote administration server tools. I'm going to fast forward this until I need to provide user input. Alright, I'm being prompted. Do you want to install the following Windows software update? The update for Windows KB958 830 and yes I do I would like to have a current version of the RSAT so I'll click on yes and now I need to uh, agree or accept the license terms so I'm gonna scroll down click I accept and the updates are now being installed so I'll fast forward through this until user input is required Alright, the installation is complete. It launches a help screen automatically, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. But before I can actually take advantage of some of these utilities, I need to go into my control panel and add these features into the Windows 7 operating system I'm using. So I'm in the control panel, and now I want to go into the Programs dialog box. And I want to go to Programs and Features, Turn Windows Features on or off. So I'm going to click on Turn Windows Features on or off and this provides me a dialog box that has all of the features that are present in my Windows 7 operating system. If I scroll down to Remote Administration Tools you'll see that there's a blue box that's there. That means that some of the features are installed and some that are available are not installed. If I click the plus I get a more comprehensive list. It breaks down into feature administration tools, role administration tools, and server manager. Server manager is checked. That's installed and present. If I expand feature administration tools, I could put a check in group policy management tools, or I could add network load balancing tools, SMTP server tools, storage explorer tools, storage manager for SANS tools, Windows system resource manager tools. Uh, I want group policy management tools. I'm going to leave that check. So I'll collapse that and then expand the role administration tools. Here I can add the Active Directory Certificate Services tools or I can expand Active Directory Directory Services and I could add the Active Directory module for Windows PowerShell or I can expand the Active Directory Directory Services tools and add the Active Directory Administrative Center or the Active Directory Directory Services Snap-ins and Command Line tools which I'd like both of those features so I'm going to collapse those 
and I'd also like to have the DHCP server tools and the DNS server tools. Other features that are available here would be file services tools to manage DFS, the distributed file system, or file server resource manager tools, or share and storage management tools, which also might be handy. You could also add Hyper-V tools or remote desktop services tools, so I'll collapse those things. And I've now modified the features I would like present on my Windows 7 computer, so I'll click on OK to continue. And this is going to make those changes that I've just designated inside of the turn window features on or off. So the modifications are done and for me to test these I can go ahead and close my control panel. So I'll click on start all programs administrative tools and I now see the administrative tools I've just added to my computer including group policy management. If I click on group policy management you'll see I'm connected to the contoso.com domain and I can certainly begin to build or modify group policy objects for the Contoso.com Active Directory domain. This concludes my demonstration on how to download and install the 2008 Server Remote Server Administration Tools on a Windows 7 computer. This is BrickHouseLabs.com and thank you for watching.